What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a glitch sound effect such as this inside Audacity. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guy Discord server, there will be a link in the description below. With that being said, let's get started. So this is actually super simple to do and uses a function that I feel is a very underutilized function inside Audacity. And that is the ability to import raw data. Now what importing raw data allows you to do is essentially import just about any file type into Audacity. It doesn't have to be an audio file. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of DAW inception and we are going to import Pro Tools into Audacity. So we're gonna go ahead and hit our import raw data and uh, we're just gonna scroll down here through the program files until we grab our Pro Tools.exe and we're just gonna import it. Now we are going to get this import raw data window that pops up here and to be completely honest I have no idea what exactly this stuff does. Uh, so I'm going to leave everything as is and just hit import. And it's going to import an audio file that it has essentially created from that program data. Now right now I know that it does just kind of look like a giant wall of text. It is pronounced data. And most of the time, this is what you're going to get when you import raw data files. And so you can hear it just sounds like static. Uh, but if we zoom out here, you're going to see that in a lot of things, there's this section where it looks really glitchy. And it also sounds very glitchy. Now, I know that I had just thrown up a screen for you to turn your volume down, uh, not only because this is super loud, but there's also some really weird waveforms that kind of happen where, um, if you're not familiar with how a speaker works, it works on alternating current, and so your speaker moves in and out as the waveform goes above and below that zero crossing line, and we end up with some sections of the waveform, if we zoom in here, where you can see that that line is just all on one side. So that means the electrical current that is going through your speaker isn't a regular back and forth. Sometimes it's gonna get pushed, sometimes it's gonna get pulled, and it is highly, highly, highly recommended that you turn your volume down when working with these kind of files as you don't want to risk damaging your speakers. But if I zoom back out here and I go over to this section right here, um, that this section is the glitch that you heard at the beginning of this video. And we can go ahead and take a look at some of these other sections. Primarily, if you see a giant wall like this, it's most likely gonna sound like static. Um, but what you're looking for is these really odd sections. So I'm not going to talk over these because in post I am going to bring the volume of these down a little bit. Uh, I still recommend turning down your device just to be safe. But we're going to check out some of these other snippets and then we're going to import some other DAWs and just see what files we can create with uh, their program data. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to import every other DAW that I have here on my computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
All right, so I've got some other DAWs in here. So we were playing around with Pro Tools, and I, of course, had to import Audacity back into itself. Uh, I've got Adobe Audition, Reaper, uh, FL Studio, and Cool Edit Pro 2. Uh, if you missed my video on Cool Edit Pro, make sure you uh, click on that card that just popped up here and check that out. So we're gonna take a listen to these and just see if there's some interesting glitches that happen inside these. We're gonna start with Audacity. And again, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out. And it looks like we've got some interesting stuff. Like I said, most of the time when you see this big wall of text, it's just static. But if we come over here and let's check this part out. Oh, that's nasty. How about this? All right, interesting. So you can hear just between importing the Pro Tools and the Audacity files, you can get a lot of really cool glitch sounds. But let's check out the others. So let's check out Adobe Audition. And we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning here and zoom in, because this one is a much smaller file. And looks like it just packed full of glitchiness. So this should be good. Very interesting. What do we get in Reaper? So again, looks like we've got a big wall of text, but we've got some interesting stuff happening right here. That's a lot of content that you could actually play with. Uh, FL Studio, a program that I don't think I've ever even actually opened, yet it's on my computer. And last but not least, the almighty Cool Edit Pro. This entire thing looks like one giant wall of text, so I'm not entirely sure how much we're actually gonna get out of this file. Uh, looks like there may be something interesting here at the end. So a little bit of a, a clip there at the end that might be usable. But you can really do this with any file, just about any file. I haven't come across one, a file type yet that won't import. The very first time that I ever did this, I actually imported an HTML file into one of my projects in college from a, um, a not safe for work site. And I hid that inside my project as a little Easter egg. Um, nobody knew about it but me but it was just kind of funny. So that is gonna wrap things up for this week's video. I know it was a relatively short video, but this is a super simple process that you can do for absolutely free. Audacity is free, and it's just using the program files that you have on your computer. As a reminder, please turn down your volume when you do this. You know, there's a lot of really kind of weird waveforms in there, and I don't want you to break your equipment doing it. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know in the comments section what other kind of programs or things you wanna see me try to shove into Audacity. Or if you'd like to see me actually try to manipulate these sounds, let me know down in the comments as well. So as I mentioned, that is gonna wrap things up for this video. I'm gonna go get back to work on my 1,000 subscriber celebration video that's hopefully coming up soon. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Until next time.